Well, what an interesting month to have a newborn, to say the least. Now, I was planning on taking about a month off for paternity leave, and uh, that started about a week before the whole self-quarantine thing. So uh, it's kind of good to see everyone joining in in the spirit. Things are going well over here. What is it? It's, uh, it's 1.30 in the morning, and my night shift has begun. Oh, sorry. I totally forgot the introductions. Meet little baby Gwen, the latest addition to the Koro family. She's doing well. What do you do with all your time at home? Well, that was a question that I had already figured out about a week before the self-quarantine started. Each kid's a handful, so whenever I'm not trying to catch a few extra hours of sleep, I'm in here in our little home office, plugging away at a couple new exciting things that I'm really, really, really amped about. I have been finishing a new album that's gonna be coming out very shortly. I'm playing this eight string guitar as well recently. But something a little more relevant to what you guys see on this channel is I've been learning Unity and Unreal on a much deeper level. Not necessarily for game development, but for virtual production development. Now, if you saw that Visual Effects Artist React episode about The Mandalorian, we were all really, really excited about some of the techniques they used to uh, capture live on stage. In this scene, all of the background you're seeing is not real. It is a real-time rendered image on a LED screen. So inspiring that like, literally right now, I'm working on a mini version of this that we'll be able to have in our own studio. So on the Unity side of things, we're working with Josh Davies over at FX Home to develop a camera calibration plugin that allows us to use real world footage just like you see here and basically have a real time rendered environment that's 3D tracked to this camera. And that's gonna be really cool. It's very similar to the setup they used on The Mandalorian. On the Unreal side of things, I am just diving right in. While I'm not as familiar with Unreal, it is, it is so powerful. It is so cool and easy to learn. And so I've really been enjoying messing around with that. Why would you want to turn to like a video game engine to start making videos with? It's a good question because you know, you might think, oh, well, there's kind of a drop in quality in sense. The rendering isn't as high quality. But the thing is, is there's this level of unprecedented freedom that is very, very alluring because normally we're making visual effects and putting them into live footage. But right now, this is a situation where we're gonna be taking live footage and putting it into a visual effect, so to speak. Or heck, the whole shot is gonna be CG. You know, if we really wanna set it up right, we can do a thing where you do your actor in a mocap suit, you have a CG environment, you maybe have like a vibe tracked camera, you have a virtual camera rig. It starts to really mimic just a normal set at that point where you're just recording takes. And if you want, you can screen capture your computer and the moment your take's done, you have footage now to edit with because it's all real time. Yeah, it's, it's a really cool situation and it's really exciting. You know, now we have an opportunity to tell stories that would otherwise be completely impossible. So we're gonna be bringing all this virtual production stuff to a video that we'll be releasing soon on this channel. Don't forget to say subscribe for that. When you're stuck at home, it's always a good opportunity to also reorganize. It allowed me a really, really cool opportunity to reorganize my workspace and I'm super excited about it. As I said, I'm recording a lot of music, so I've got a full music setup here with my guitar rigs, my pedals, my audio. The cool feature that I did here, pull out keyboard so I can play music at my desk and record it the deluxe setup but you know you can do it for really cheap it's just parting all the pieces together and if you guys haven't seen it I highly recommend building a slab PC on a wall it is so cool it saves tons of space so that's the update from Sam's house here yeah I hope you guys are staying safe out there maybe you learn something new if you got a PC fire it up learn some visual effects learn a game engine write some music make art do whatever you can to uh, keep yourself sharp can't wait to get back to the studio and start turning some of the stuff that I'm learning into stuff that you guys get to see. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, guys. Baby, you want to say bye? Bye-bye, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to the channels. Whoa. <laughs> Uh-oh, spit up. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm getting the bye-bye out of her. She sends her regards. Ooh, hey, guys. 
I'm Matt, and you might not know me too well, but you've probably seen me get shot in the Keanu Reeves deepfake and get shot at in the Boss Town Dynamics video. But when I'm not getting shot at, I work at this here YouTube channel. And so far, I have had a blast with these guys. Uh, I love coming to the studio every day. Now, obviously, things are a little bit different right now. Uh, I'm working from home. The whole studio is. Now, I, I, I want to be able to bring the studio environment and all of my friends back home with me somehow. There is one thing I haven't told you, and that is that I am also a VFX artist. See the, the particles? I'm going to utilize my green screen blanket from Corridor Digital. And we actually just restocked these, so if you want one for yourself, head on down to CorridorDigital.store. Now all I have to do is throw this blanket up in the background, so let's go ahead and try it out. Wow, great, that was a visual effect too. Okay, here we go, I'm just gonna clap my hands and we will be transported through chroma key technology. Whoa, would you look at that? We're back at the studio, it's like we never left. Oh hey, what's up Clint? Oh, what's up, this is what I sound like. Let's do our secret VFX handshake. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to be doing all this via flexing without giving you guys the opportunity to be wherever you want to be. If you have an emergency green screen blanket, throw it up behind you and send me a picture on the DMs on Instagram. And I'll put you wherever you want to be. Name a place. Don't make it weird. Also, while you're there, follow Corridor Digital on the, on the gram. Hey everybody, gather around because I got some fresh edits for you guys to check out. I can't wait to react to that I fused my organs with an actual drone! <laughs> Die, drone red! Oh. Jesus Christ. Toby will end it. Okay, okay, everybody stop doing all of the things that are happening right now. How are we supposed to get any work done around here? <clears throat> anyway, let's check this clip out, guys. No axes. What's up, people? Welcome to the quarantine zone with your boy, Wes. That's me. Yo, so quarantine. Oof. That's got a whiff of my own breath. I'll be right back. I keep getting challenges on the internet. Push-up challenges, acrobatic challenges, and today I said, you know what? I'm gonna do the most intricate acrobatic challenge of them all. So let's go downstairs and try this challenge. All right. All right, so that's Joaquil. And this is the next story. I gotta do that. 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 So I don't actually know if I could do any of that. I'm gonna start with the last part first. Okay, okay, I can, I can do that. Aerial, to ninja stance, to kip up, to turn around push up, to that dance move up. Aerial. Ninja stance, kip up, aerial. Ninja stance. Kip up. Push up. Boom. Hold up, there was a turnaround in there. Kip up, turnaround push up. Whoa, whoa, that's a game changer. Kip up. Yeah. Break dance move. All right. It's the aerial that's the hardest to get over, I think. Okay, I was about to go, but something inside me was not feeling it. I'm feeling it now. Nope, was not feeling it. It's my neighbor Vanessa, guys. Let's see if we can zoom in on her. I'm the creepy neighbor. That's my creepy neighbor. Let's make sure I can do this. I'm trying, yeah, let me see. All right. I did it. I did it. It might not have been pretty, but I did it. Okay. All right, Vanessa, thank you. 
Hey guys, I just wanted to say I hope you've been enjoying these uh, little vlogs we've been doing recently. They've been a ton of fun and it's been fun to do something a little bit different here on the Corridor Crew Channel. Uh, we get a lot of questions all the time about filming and about filming equipment and about what to use and how to get started and I'd like to answer that. In our store, CorridorDigital.store, there is an emergency green screen blanket. Not only will it keep you warm, it comes at a very affordable price and it's versatile, you can fold it up, you can take it with you, you can pretty much go anywhere and do anything with it. Zoom meetings, you can put it behind you, you know, maybe get a nice isolated edge. Put yourself wherever you wanna be. Maybe you're stuck at home, but you wanna be in the Caribbean. Well, guess what? The emergency green screen blanket is available now at CorridorDigital.store.